Waco Wonderland is stealing your shine. The 10th annual holiday favorite kicks off tonight. Now, Meredith, I heard you were able to get a sneak peek. Is that oh, correct? Yes. Oh, yes. And that's right. A little elf mm -hmm. told me that Santa's going to be um, at the Waco Wonderland ah. and his reindeer are going to be there and so much more. Ooh, that's exciting. Yes, it really is. The event is free to everyone. The only thing you'd have to purchase would be a $10 wristband, which gets you on all the rides. Now let's see how those final touches are coming along. It has taken six months for the city of Waco to put this Waco Wonderland together. And as you can see behind me, they're putting on the finishing touches to make sure this is the most magical weekend for you. Now, as they do so, I want to take a look around so we can check it out. Let's go. I don't know if y'all can even see me, but the first thing I had to show you was this over 40 foot tall tree that's going to greet you as you walk in. Now, let me get a little bit closer to you. That is one tall tree. This year we feature a lot of different activities from the fireworks and tree lighting. We have live reindeer on Friday night. There are going to be so many local vendors for you and your family to come out and support Waco Wonderland. But I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to are the local food trucks. Let's see what else they have in store for us. Bigger than that Christmas tree, you know it, you love it. It's that Ferris wheel and right next to it you can grab a caramel apple and some curly fries. I thought my favorite part were the food trucks over there, but I think my new favorite part is the North Pole because I need to check in with Santa as to whether or not I'm on the naughty or nice list this year. Uh, we brought Santa's house down from the North Pole. It was a big job and um, luckily we don't have to take it back at the end. <laughs> Any event that we do, um, it's just about creating something special and whether that's young or old, family or friends, getting people together, um, it's just a great way to have a, a great quality of life for our city and to make something that our residents and also visitors are proud of. Whether you're on the naughty or nice list this year, I hope you grab some hot cocoa, maybe a friend or two to come out and enjoy Waco Wonderland this weekend because it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. In Waco, I'm Meredith Haas for 6 News. Back to you in the studio.